I am going to put this intro at the beginning of each video just so everyone can have all of the information if they're coming in at random videos. So I'll put a timestamp right here if you want to go ahead and skip the intro. So just a quick little bit of background if you're coming to my channel for the first time for this series. My name is Kayla. I have an Instagram where I show mostly nail swatches and nail art. I also have obviously this YouTube channel where there is tons of nail content. And then I have a small business with nail related merch type of items like pouches, um, sweatshirts, tote bags, t-shirts, all of those type of things. All of that is linked down below. So for this comparison series, I will just be showing you the swatches like already done on my hand. I have about 450 polishes, so I didn't want to just continuously show you me painting my nails. You guys have seen that enough. So it equaled out to be about 60 different pictures. I think it's like 56 or so. I'm not comparing everything. I just wanted to do anything that would be worthy of a comparison. So it will just be kind of quick shots of each round of comparisons. With that being said, we're going to start with white polishes. I didn't have a ton of black polishes that I felt were worthy of being compared. They all just kind of look the same unless they were a specialty finish and none of the specialty finish ones looked alike anyway. So we're just going to start with white polishes and then continue on with my color categories over here. Um, I will say I'm not comparing my gel polishes to any of my regular polishes. Maybe I'll just do like a video showing you all of my gel polishes. Let me know if you want to see that. Obviously the polishes are going to look different depending on your screen or how you view them or how I'm viewing them at the time. I have changed the order of my swatch sticks over here so many times that blues and greens and purples and reds and orange and corals all look the same. So just keep in mind um, all of that while you're looking at comparisons and make sure that you're understanding that phone screens or computer screens or any of that kind of thing can kind of skew how the colors look. If you're wanting to see stills or save any of these comparisons, I will have all of the pictures posted on my Instagram so that you can see all of those and keep a kind of category of however you would like to view them. Another thing to keep in mind, like I said, I am doing almost 60 sets of kind of swatches so it is taking a long time for one me to get through and for two me to just deal with in general on my nails so these are not like manicure quality swatches and they might be a little messed up obviously I'm not leaving anything if I flood my cuticle or anything like that but just please be nice about me painting my nails for this obviously you have all pretty much seen my swatches but I just didn't do manicure quality swatches on these because there were so many of them. So just keep that in mind and be nice about the oil your cuticles comments. If you are interested in seeing any specific set of colors in the color category for the video that you're watching, everything will be linked down in the description box with timestamps so you can go to that specific set and see those. Okay, so I think that is it. Let me just get straight into showing you all the comparisons Moving right into yellows, I have my first little group here, which is like my pale kind of lemonade-y yellows, I guess. The first one on my ring finger and my pinky finger here is Buttercup from London Town Lacquer. It's my palest yellow that I have, and honestly, I go back and forth on if I love it. Um, I'm just now getting into my yellows this year, and so I kind of actually really do like this pale yellow. All three of these yellows were three coats, which I feel like is kind of typical for yellow polishes but my ring finger here is Terra Beauty Sweet Lemonade. It's definitely like a deeper yellow than the Lennon Town polish but it's not as deep as Chick from Dimension Nails. So there are my three kind of pale yellow polishes all three pretty different and that always makes me happy when I'm not just having a bunch of polishes that are exactly the same. I just filmed this whole thing and wasn't even filming. Okay, <laughs> these are my sunflower-y yellows. I have vitamin D from Dimension Nails on my pinky and my first finger. I have sun-kissed and lemon twists on my ring finger and then sunflower from Rugged Beauty on my middle finger. So vitamin D is the deepest of all three of them. It's kind of like a traditional like not neon but super bright bright orange it is the most similar to sun kiss and lemon twist from Taylor made which would be these two here um it just is this Taylor made polish is a little bit more like close to like their mac and cheese powder I would think um 
And then obviously Sunflower Rugged Beauty is super, super light and not really similar to the other two at all. I will say I did three coats on all of these, but it did kind of seem like some of them had dark spots. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. So possibly um, four coats on some of these. Honestly, it really just depends on your application sometimes. These yellows can have really weird formulas and maybe you can even see in the bottle. I don't know if it's gonna come up on camera. The bubble down here is moving like really easily which typically means that the polishes are kind of like a thinner formula and that happens a lot with these yellowy polishes okay the next category is going to be the mustard e yellows so i have orly here comes the sun static nail sorrento mustard the courage from china glaze and urbanized from cirque um none of these are the same like i'm pretty proud of that, I feel like I've been looking for my perfect mustardy color. This one is definitely a little bit more yellow over here on my pinky from Orly. It's definitely not like mustard mustard, but it kind of fit the overall look of everything. So I went ahead and threw that in, but it's not like a dusty mustard like you would think. Sorrento is definitely one of the more gray mustards of the group. Over here on my ring finger, it's leaning a little green, honestly, next to all these other yellows with that like grayish green hue, but I don't hate it. I kind of feel like this would be closer, but I would put this more honestly into like a brown. Like if I had a full manicure of this, I would kind of think it would be like more brownish. Mustard the Courage has been like one that's been kind of talked about a lot, I feel like, from China Glaze. People really like this one. It's a great, great mustard. I'm looking at it and I'm just kind of seeing like a little bit more orange than some of the other ones. I hope that's coming up on camera. And then Cirque Colors Urbanize. This might be the perfect mustard. I'm looking at it now and I'm just assessing things, but... This could be my perfect mustard color. I don't honestly know what I'm looking for in the mustard family. I just kind of keep not loving all the ones I've bought. One thing I am going to do, which I'm not going to do with probably any of the other ones, is show a KL polish. This is Caramello. I honestly feel like this could be one of the closer um, mustardy colors that I'm looking for like the brown polish mustard somethings it's not really similar to any of the ones here but I did just want to kind of show it off it does kind of dry similar to the china glaze but um it's definitely not the same I just wanted to throw that in because I knew that this was kind of a cult classic I don't really deal with her or her brand or anything like that anymore um but i just wanted to throw it in because i do still have the polish so all these were two coats i definitely think they're all pretty good two coaters and nice formulas as well the last group for the yellows is going to be the like neon -y beautifulness so i have orly oh snap nine zero firefly cuccio Dancing in the Dark, and China Glaze, Tropic Like It's Hot. They're all pretty different. When I look at them in the bottle, they're kind of similar. And then also when I had them, like the first coat or two on my nails, they looked pretty similar. But that third coat really kind of solidified what we got going on here. So the Orly is once again kind of like the brighter of the yellows and not exactly a neon. It's just a really, really bright yellow compared to some of these other ones. The formula on these has gotten so thick, um, so it's a little hard to work with. I need to grab some thinner, but overall, it's still a beautiful color. It doesn't really look like any of the other ones. It's similar to Humidity um, from 9-0, but I still feel like there's just a little bit more um, yellow in this one. This one has like a hint a hint of green compared to this. Don't know how else to explain that. The next one here is Cuccio, and again, it's a little bit more of a green um, versus just a straight yellow neon. I don't love the formula on this one. I've talked about this um, in posts before, but I have 
either gotten a bad batch or I'm, I'm not really sure, but there are a ton of, gr um, not green, a ton of black flecks in mine. Like it wasn't mixed all the way. So I don't particularly love that because I do have all these other options without that. I think the China Glaze is my favorite. Um, again, Tropic, like it's hot. It has a really, really beautiful formula and it just looks so nice and crisp and clean. Um, it's one of the more green of all of these, I'm sure you can tell, but once it's like not next to all these other yellows, it looks just like a pretty bright yellow. Um, it's, it's, it's in between. It's one of those ones where it could be either green or yellow, depending on how you see things, but it leans more yellow. So those are all of the neons. Okay, so here is my first round of like orangey corally polishes. I have Cuccio City Par Parad Paradise City on my pinky and my first finger. On my ring finger, I have China Glaze Flip Flop Fantasy and then Humidity from 9-0 on my middle finger. So the Cuccio is pretty like, it looks really more coral in the bottle, I feel like, than on the nail. On the nail, it looks a little hint more orangey, but it's definitely not as orange as the 9-0. And then the Flip Flop Fantasy is honestly pretty close in the bottle, but on the fingers, it really does not look similar, I don't think. So once again, all of these, I feel like look pretty different. Um, the Cuccio definitely had the best formula. It's the only one that didn't like kind of dry down matte and chalky. The 9-0 is super, super matte and the uh, China Glaze is really chalky. So take that for, for what you will. Neon oranges, the bane of my effing existence. Um, yes, we have two China Glaze. This is Takes Two to Mango Orange Knockout Palette Polish Hot Wing and Orly uh, Melt Your Popsicle. The two China Glaze are kind of similar, honestly, as far as like the color, the base color. Um, but Takes Two to Mango has this kind of gold like shimmer in it it really just makes the polish chunky and not look that great in my opinion but it's a nice polish two coats and it has a kind of wider brush which I really enjoy the next one from China Glaze the orange knockout has kind of a terrible formula it's a three coat it um dries really weird and matte and kind of streaky it's not my favorite I should probably de-stash it but there's that the palette polish is my favorite of all three I love the color I love how bright it is the formula is amazing it was two coats and I enjoy the brush the Orly Melcher Popsicle is kind of one of those cult classic polishes but it has a similar formula to the China Glaze as far as like a streaky three coater there's kind of a patch right there at the base of my nail if you can see um, but it does still dry pretty shiny and you can build it up fairly well and have it be a really nice opaque manicure. Here is a little group of coral polishes. I have Orly, Artificial Orange, Cuccio, Rock the Casbah, XXVZ, Calypso, and Zoya Urza. Um, they're not similar. I just put them all together because they're kind of my like deeper corals. Um, the Orly is the only one that is two coats. All the others were three and it's just a really nice two coat kind of um, salmon color, I guess. And it had a great formula. The Cuccio, I've had a lot of trouble with this like kind of collection in general, but it's three coats and um, the brush isn't lovely, so the application was a little hard, but the color is really nice. It's super bright. I think that this, I think that this one um, from XXVZ is my favorite. I love the brush and the formula is a little kind of like jelly-ish and the color is super interesting. I don't have anything like it in my collection. It's almost like a, um, it's kind of like, I guess, like a hibiscus-y kind of color. I just really think it's interesting. <laughs> The bane of my existence 
Once again, for this video is Zoya Urza. I remembered after I already put on a coat that this stains like nobody's business and I didn't use base coat for these swatches. So that's great for me, but I don't use this polish ever. Um, I don't really like the color. This is three coats and it's still kind of just like a weird matte. I believe this was their first round of neons that they were trying to do and we all know how the second round went for me. So yes. Um, that is all of my orangey coral polishes. Moving over into pinks, I have three kind of like white-ish muted pinks, I guess that's what I kind of call them. I have Static Nails Birthday Cake on my pinky and my, um, <laughs> first finger here. The formula on this one is really nice. It's a really nice two-coater. It has that wide brush that I like. The bottles are a little weird just because this is like one of their um palette kind of polishes where it's a bunch of colors um but in this like packaging I don't know why that was so hard to get out but um it's a really nice polish it doesn't really it's kind of like a mix of these two because Joey is a little bit more orangey and then um sorry this is Dimension Nails Joey it's a little more peach leaning than birthday cake and Jane Austen from London Town which is on my middle finger isn't really um similar to either of them it's more of a kind of a jelly finish actually or crelly I guess it's a three coater polish and it's pretty sheer like kind of squishy looking here are my dusty pink kind of category I have Orly Rome with me Zoya Rue and London Town Crowning Crumpet. So Zoya and the Orly are pretty much like, I, not identical, but they're really, really, really close. I have Orly on my pinky and my first finger. On this ring finger is the Orly. I would say, or I'm sorry, on the ring finger is Zoya. I would say that you don't need both. Um, they're really close. Like, the more that I keep looking at it, the more I'm like, they're kind of a dupe. Um, I think that the Orly maybe is just a little... Ugh, I don't know. They're pretty close. I feel like you don't need both. Um, there's something a little off about them. I can't pin it, so let me know if you see it. I've been looking at too many polishes, but... Um, obviously crowning crumpet here in the middle is nothing like either one of them. It is a three coat kind of jelly-ish polish. Um, but it was just one of those like dusty colors that I wanted to throw in. Next up I have sheer pinks. So I have Olive and June, CCT, uh, Zoya Bella, Zoya Sabrina, and London Town Rosewater. So... The two super, super, super sheer ones, um, the Olive and June and Zoya Bella, um, are pretty similar, honestly. They're pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, on the nails, they could probably both use four coats, but I'm maxing out at three here. So here's three coats of both of them. They look different on the nail to me. I feel like the Olive and June has a little bit more coverage. It has a little less dark spots on that third coat, but the Zoya application is still a little patchy. So take that with what you will. Um, Zoya Sabrina is a little bit more white than the other Zoya in this group. It has a lot more um, kind of less pinky toned, more, more white kind of neutral toned. And then the Rosewater one is actually a kind of um, crelly polish. It has a lot of kind of cream finish in it. This was three coats, but it's completely opaque. So it's a little bit different than the other ones that are more sheer. These next two are both from London Town. They're not similar at all, but I just wanted to show some of the different pinks that might be similar from the same kind of brands. So the um, one here on my uh, pinky and ring finger is Waterloo Sunset. It's really like um, kind of a sheared out, maybe crelly-ish pink. This was three coats for this one. The one on my middle finger and first finger is uh, Afternoon Tea from London Town. I didn't include it with some of the other pinks because I feel like 
it didn't really go with anything. The next round is a few more pinks, obviously. This is TaylorMade Love Letter, Static Nails Milkshake, and Palette Polish Strawberry Milk. The TaylorMade is on my pinky and my first finger, and it's a little bit more kind of like beige ish I guess. Um, but it's kind of a jelly, so these were, or like a crelly, I guess. These were three coats for this polish here. Actually, for all of them, I believe. Um, the milkshake polish is pretty close. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's a little... It, something's different. Like the, I think the milkshake one, which is here on my uh, ring finger, is just a little hint different. It's a little bit more like... Not as nude, I guess, or not as beige as the Taylor Made. And then strawberry milk is completely different here. It's very, very like kind of almost bubblegum pink. These two um, Dimension Nails Plant Based Princess and Olive in June Pink Sands are in a similar kind of like category, I think. They're kind of one of those like more whited out pinks that I actually really, really enjoy. I have a lot of them. They just have a like a hint more pink to them. So the Dimension Nails is here on my pinky and my ring finger. And it's just a hint more like blue and kind of in your face pink. The Olive in June is a little bit more of a like subtle baby pink. Um, kind of initially like when I just like look at it, I'm like, oh yeah, that's all pink. But you can definitely see a little bit of a subtle difference with these. Once again, at first glance, I kind of thought that these were similar, but... They all have their merits, and I'm sorry if that's boring in like a comparison thing, but to me, when I do comparisons, I want to make sure I don't have dupes because it makes me feel more validated in all the polishes I have. So, I have Ani Michelle Go To Pink, um, Huella Princess and the Peony, and I mentioned Nails Snowy Pulver. So, I have the Ani Michelle on my pinky and my first finger here. It's a traditional kind of like basic blue toned pink um I feel like it's a nice pink it's like literally like just a right down the middle of the road pink I feel like compared to the other two this one here has a little bit more of like a coral kind of um look to it like it's got a, a hint of like more of a peachy orange and then the Dimension Nails is definitely like completely different it's a dustier kind of um, middle of the road pink. It's a little bit more grayed out than the others. These two are my most blue toned pink polishes that I have in my collection. Um, I have Zoya Jordan on my pinky and my ring finger. And then on my middle finger and my first finger, I have a Dimension Nails Piglet. Um, the Dimension Nails is very, very blue toned. And then the Zoya has a little bit of like, I guess, I'm leaning towards saying peach. It has a little bit of peach kind of tone in it, so it's not quite as, like, purpley leaning for a pink. Ooh, friends, this is the last group of pinks. So, we have a bunch of different holographic-y pinks. I have been looking for my perfect holographic pink for a hot minute. I don't want anything too bright or, like, magenta -y. I'm kind of wanting, like, a pastel pink hollow so either way I've purchased a lot of them but I have color club what is this I've got a crush different dimension pegasus 90 April 2016 and uh what is this LA colors diamond crush fairy wink so I'm gonna start Sorry, there's polish everywhere. I'm gonna start with these two because they have a very, very similar like base. The base color on the color club and the different, did I say dimension nails earlier? Different dimension. This is the first, the only one I own from the, either way. This has a very similar kind of base color, but there are not really holographic glitters in this. It's just kind of like a shifting polish. So in the color club, you can definitely see those larger glitters and so it's a little bit chunkier it's not quite as like rainbow for the different dimension for these two it is kind of a similar um base color as well but for the la colors this is like a jellyish polish with big chunky chunky uh glitters in there so there's a ton of like rainbow 
glitter in there. For the 9-0, it's really just a kind of shifty, um, micro holographic-y glitter with a pink base. 